Welcome to MT's Corner with Maisha Sierra, where we discuss celebrity news, acting advice, and everything in between that has to do with acting. So sit back and enjoy yourself and enjoy my opinion. Hi everyone, I hope you all are doing well. Before the story, I just wanted to thank everyone who has subscribed to my channel, left a comment or like. I am slowly gaining more followers and I'm so excited about that. I can't wait till I get to at least a thousand of you. Uh, right now I'm at a little over 400 and I thank everyone who subscribed so far. I work really hard on my videos and I care so much about actors and black actors and anything relating to them. So thank you all for who've already subscribed. And if you haven't already, please like, share, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell so you can get all these new stories as soon as I get them out and all of my story times and everything else that I produce on my channel. Today we're here because of Denzel. Denzel helped a homeless man on May 21st and it's finally getting traction. Apparently Twitter knows how to come for people and their receipts. So make sure you keep yourself quick on Twitter. Denzel happened to be in West Hollywood when he saw the cops and an unarmed, distressed homeless man. So it said that the homeless man allegedly may or may not have some mental issues. I'm not quite sure about that situation. I do know that homelessness is rampant, especially right now. I mean, it was already rampant because of the simple fact that our system isn't the best when it comes to taking care of our mentally ill and those who are literally living a paycheck away from homelessness. I live in Chicago and I see a homeless person on a, on a block, every block. So I can definitely see how there could be a lot of homeless people everywhere. Denzel, he got out of his car and he served as a barrier between the man and the police. I assume he wanted to make sure that the man was okay the entire time while he was having his encounter with the police. And I commend Denzel for that. For the simple fact that he didn't have to do that. A lot of black entertainers who have made a certain tax bracket, they don't speak on issues that concern black people anymore, especially black women. So because they're no longer in the tax bracket of brokenness, they don't often speak out when it has anything to do relating to black life. And Denzel isn't that kind of man. He's never been that kind of man. And for him to get out of his car when he could have just kept going on about his day and help someone out who could have possibly ended up like Gregory Floyd or Breonna Taylor or Sandra Bland or, you know, the list can go on and on. My point being, there's so much happening right now in Minneapolis. There's so much happening in Atlanta. There are riots, there are protests, there's looting. And for Denzel to take himself and put himself into that equation and say, you know what? I want to make sure that this man has what he needs. Uh, yes, yeah, sir. Denzel, I guess, drove by, saw the uh, individual on the road and was worried about his safety. Uh, Denzel pulled over, got the individual on the road, um, and then uh, officers were called by another person that was driving by that saw Denzel. Um, we, we intervened, uh, spoke to the, with the individual and uh, determined that uh, he did not want to harm himself or others and uh, he was on his way and Denzel left. Uh, Denzel provided him a mask to, to protect himself from the environment and uh, that was good. So but yeah, Denzel's a stand-up guy and he's always has been and he's also been one of my favorite actors since the beginning of time. Now, those of us who feel that we can't do that, especially those of us that are black, that feel like it's a little hard for us to, who are regular black people, that feel like it's a little hard for us to stand up for our rights, to stand up for other people's rights because a lot of us have PTSD because of just the being black, you know what I'm saying? That it is just so many things that comes with it that a lot of us don't understand or a lot of us just don't want to be a part of certain things. And I do do not blame anyone at all. If you're too afraid or you're too anxious to actually stand up and do something because everybody wasn't built to be a fighter. We're not a monolith. We're not strong black warriors. A lot of us are people who are scared and who just want to be heard. Now, someone did say on Twitter, uh, Denzel Washington did what anybody should do in that kind of situation. I would have liked to know that the people recording hashtag Gregory Floyd or those surrounding him could have felt safe enough to do the same. Me personally, I don't agree with them on the second half of that, of them thinking that th those people would have felt safe enough to do the same. Maybe I'm just reading too much into it, but Denzel has a certain status. It's very different from a very famous black man standing up where people can clearly see who he is, even with a mask, you know what I'm saying, versus regular black people. And the person who actually recorded the Gregory Floyd situation, I'm not going to put her name out there, they've already done that enough, which I think they should not have done, was a young black girl. She was a 17-year-old child. And a 17 year old can be in 11th or 12th grade. So I'm not ever expecting regular black people to go out of their way to fight the police when the police have guns. So I don't fully agree with them. No, they didn't feel safe. So I don't think that any black person should feel the need that they have to become a superhero 
and fight the police in order to save another black person or anybody in general. If you're able to do that and it's successful for you, kudos to you. However, I don't judge anyone who does not do that. That's our story for today. Denzel goes out his way to be a great Samaritan and you know what? Thank you, Denzel. Thank you for using your power and the privilege that you do have being a celebrity to go out of your way to be a better person. Now, for those of you who are wondering how you can also be a better person, definitely for the homeless, you can always start doing care packages. That's something that I do myself where you put essentials in there for them. There are um, wipes, toothbrush, toothpaste, a non-perishable food item, some things of that sort. Leave a comment down below and let me know some ideas you have for helping the homeless uh, during this pandemic. Also, let me know how you feel about what Denzel did. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And thank you all. Please, everyone, stay safe.